हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स हब ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट बेसिक फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हेक्सीवेयर गिटहब प्रोजेक्ट एंड गो थ्रू द कोड चेंजेस फॉर चेंजिंग एलईडी कलर इन एलईडी फ्लैशिंग ऐप एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन इन लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ हेक्सीवेयर यू कैन चेक हाउ टू डाउनलोड द लेटेस्ट कोड ऑफ हेक्सीवेयर फ्रॉम गिट रिपोजिटरी आफ्टर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट वी कैन सी थ्री फोल्डर्स एंड अ रेडमी फाइल HW folder is for hardware which includes schematics PCB projects layouts main hexware project is located in folder called SW which stands for software whereas documentation folder contains documents of getting started bluetooth specifications hexware uart messaging api and many more now we will look into SW folder in details Here projects are organized into subfolders according to their purpose. Binary folder includes .bin files of default code. Click examples KDS is a codec example of click modules like relay, IR thermometer, etc. Here important folders are MK64 and KW40. The main hexware code called hexware_mk64 is located in folder mk64 let's import this in kds and see what's there inside this is what we get when we import xcver code in kds folder apps contains the code implementing the logic used for apps in xcver menu currently pedometer and heart rate apps are present The general graphical interface structure is located under the folder named GUI. All the menus can be found here as a separate folders. The hierarchy between screens can also be seen by observing the folder structure. The main hexiver screen, watch screen is at the same level as the apps, settings, sensor tag and GUI notification folders. This folder represents basic hexiver menu. at their highest level and its subfolder represents separate submenus respectively the video explaining different hexiver screens is in pipeline so stay tuned for that next folder named hexiver contains functionality that fits a global scale for example a first task to execute in the system hexiver startup responsible for initializing the hardware and the rest of the task is located here Folder INTF contains the interface code for the communication between MK64 and Bluetooth powered KW40. Interface tasks are defined in host MCU interface RX.C and host MCU interface TX.C which are in charge of sending and receiving data packets. Folder notification contains the code for displaying smartphone notifications received from KW40. Folder RTC contains the RTC clock functionality. Furthermore, folder sensors contains the code for manipulating sensor data and for sending the data to the right targets. This is where I2C communication takes place, mainly for retrieving raw sensor data. All the sensors are using I2C communication. Files implementing driver functionality have a underscore driver suffix. while the structure containing sensor information and user settings are located in the source files with a underscore def suffix in header files with underscore info suffix contains constants and other relevant informations structure types and enumerations are located in header file with suffix underscore types these drivers mainly rely on kinetics sdk drivers This functionality is mainly located in the task sensor underscore get data. The sensors are initialized via function sensor underscore init modules. Afterwards, the task is fetching the sensor data in an infinite loop. Then this data is formatted into desired format before sending the data packets. This is the main functionality by which Hexiver gets raw data from the sensors and display it on mobile app. or hexiver screen now we will look at second part of this video we will see how the flash like code 
works for the flashlight app and we will see what are the changes that are required to change the LED color. Now let us see the code which takes care of flashlight app. First go to subfolder called code, GUI, screens, apps, 2.5 flashlight, src, flashlight driver.c. Now this is the file which takes care for functionality of flashlight app. Now if we scroll down and function called flashlight underscore create task, we can see flashlight underscore toggle task is being created in initialization. Now in function called flashlight underscore toggle task, there is a while one loop which is running infinitely. Now let us check what is happening inside this. Here in the while loop, the first function is called GUI driver queue message get. This function gets a message from the head of the designated queue. If the data packet is of packet type press write, then the flashlight status is checked. If it is true, then set flash off function is called. Otherwise, if the flashlight status is false, then set flash on function is called. These two function takes care of turning on RGB LED or turning it off. Let's check what's there inside. Here we can see that set flash off will change the is flash light on variable status and as well as it loads the image. In last we can see flash set off and flash set on functions are called. Now these functions take care of turning on either red, green or blue LED or turning it off. Before making code changes, let us see how flashlight app is working. If we go inside menu, apps, scroll down for flashlight and press enter, we can see white LED is turning on and off. Now we will change a flash set on to red LED on and red LED off and check what is happening there. After making these code changes, let's compile the code. And upload it on Hexavier. After making code changes, now we will see what is happening. Let's go to menu, apps, scroll down for flashlight, press enter. Here we can see red LED is turning on and off as we have made code changes for the same. Thank you guys for watching this video, hit like button if you like this video and do comment for any suggestion. In upcoming video, we will see how Xavier is reading sensor data and how it is getting transferred to mobile app. I am Bharat Kulkarni, signing off.